Hello my dear students welcome back to JK SST classes hope you all are fit and fine and enjoying your studies with JK SST classes so guys in the last video we started our discussion related with Mughal dynasty means we discuss about the establishment of Mughal dynasty the founder of Mughal dynasty was Babur who founded the Mughal dynasty in 1526 common era. And Babur named Mughal Vansky Stavna Okay. After that, we discussed that Babur ruled from 1526 common era to 1530 common era. And Babur ka ruled four years Okay. 1526 to 1530 common era. After that, Babur died in 1530 common era on 26 December 1530 Babar ki death ho jati hai 26 December 1530 ko. after the death of Babar his son and successor Humayun divided the whole Mughal empire in different parts means we can say that he divided the Mughal empire among his brothers and usne apne jo bhai the unke beech mein apne पूरे एंपायर को डिवाइड कर दिया जैसा कि बाबर की विशेष थी इज दैट क्लियर आफ्टर दैट देयर आर टू फेजेस रिलेटेड विद द रूल ऑफ हुमायूं व्हिच वी कैन से दैट द रूल ऑफ हुमायूं वाज जनरली एक्सटेंडेड फ्रॉम 1530 टू 1556 यानी वैसे देखा जाए तो हुमायूं का जो टोटल टाइम पीरियड है वो 1530 से 1556 तक एक्सटेंडेड है इज दैट क्लियर बट देयर आर टू फेजेस देयर वाज अ गैप ओके where Babur was in exile, nearby 15 years he spent in exile. After the battle of Kannoz or Bilgram, he had to fled away and after that he was in exile till 1555 common era. Yani Humayun 1540 se 1555 tak exile mein tha, India se bahar tha, desh se bahar tha. After that he tried to reoccupy the throne. So first of all, he occupied the region of Kabul and Kandahar, then Lahore, Punjab, and finally Delhi. And in this way, again, he became the ruler on 23rd July 1555. And finally, Babur died. Sorry, Humayun died on 24th of January 1556. After the death of Babur, his son and successor Akbar became the next ruler. So, our next topic will be Akbar. Ke okay? Yani Babar ki death, sorry, Humayun ki death hoti hai 24 January 1556 court and after the death of Humayun, the next ruler was Akbar. Okay? So, here we are going to start our discussion about Akbar. Okay? Who ruled from 1556 to 1600 and Five and Akbar ka jo total time period tha, administration ka rule ka, wo 1556 se lekar 1655 okay? After that, the major things related with the life of Akbar. Akbar took birth on 1542 at Amarkot Fort. Pakistan. Okay. Any Akbar ka jan Amarkot Fort Pakistan mein hua tha. Okay. After that, Humayun died on 24th of January 1556, and after the death of Humayun on 14th Feb, 14th Feb 1556, Akbar was coronated Akbar was coronated by Barak Khan Akbar was coronated by Barak Khan Barak Khan was the patronage of Akbar yani Barak Khan Akbar ka sanakshak tha patronage tha aur isi Barak Khan ne Akbar ka coronation kiya tha 14th of May 1556 ko okay after becoming the ruler, Akbar fought 
many battles. Okay, so here we are going to discuss about the Maza victories of Akbar. And Akbar ne kon kon se battles lada, kon kon se areas ko jeeta tha. Okay, so Maza victories of Akbar. So first of all, <coughs> just after becoming the ruler, the first and most important battle of Akbar's life was the battle of Panipat. Second, okay. Just after becoming the ruler, Akbar's army fought the Battle of Panipat. Second, on fifth November, fifteen fifty-six. Guys, there are three battles related with this Panipat. Means Panipat battleground. Okay, Panipat first, Babur and. Ibrahim Lodi, Panipat II, Akbar's army and Afghan army which was led by him and the last one, Battle of Panipat III, Marathas and Ahmad Shah Abdali. Is that clear? So, Battle of Panipat II was fought on 5th November 1556 and this battle was two major armies. The first one was the army of Akbar which was led by Baram Khan, okay, and the second one, the Afghan army, Afghan ruler related with Bihar, or we can say that the ruler of Bihar, okay. So this army was led by Hemu, okay. Hemu was the military commander of Afghan ruler. Or the ruler of Bihar who won 22 battles in his life and adopted the title of Raja Vikramji. Okay, Raja Vikramji. In history, if we talk about the Indian rulers, then uh, there are 14 Indian rulers who adopted the title of Vikramji or Vikramaditi. And in this serial, Hemu was the last. And in total, 14 Raja ne ye title adopt kiya tha, Vikramajit aur Vikramaditya ka. Aur in total me, ne jo 14 thi, aur me se last one jo tha wo Hemu tha. Okay? So Hemu was killed means uh, he got unconscious because of stunning an arrow in the neck. And in this way, the Afghan army lost the battle. And in this way. After becoming the ruler, that was the first victory of Akbar, victory in the battle of Panipat, second which was fought on 5th November 1556. Okay, after this battle Akbar fought many battles, which we can say that there were many obstacles in the way of Akbar and Akbar overcome all these obstacles and in this way established an old India extensive empire. Okay, so here we are going to discuss about the major victories of Akbar one by one after the battle of Panipat. Okay. So first of all, Akbar conquered Malwa from music lover Bar Bahadur. Okay. If we talk about the major victories of Akbar, then the first major victory is related with Malwa. Okay. Akbar conquered Malwa from music lover Baz Bahadur. Baz Bahadur. Yeah. Akbar ne Baz Bahadur se Malwa jita. Okay. And under this victory, Akbar got two major forts. Fort of the forts of Chunar and Kalinjar. Okay, the forts of Chunar and sorry, not Kalinjar. Gondwana. The fort of Chunar and Gondwana. Okay, the fort of Chunar and Gondwana. Two major forts were there related with Malwa, one by Akbar. 
यानी अकबर ने अपनी फर्स्ट विक्ट्री जो मालवा के ऊपर उसकी जो जीत थी उस विक्ट्री में अकबर ने दो मेजर फोर्ट्स को ऑक्यूपाई किया था फर्स्ट वन इज चुनार एंड सेकंड वन इज गोंडवाड़ा ओके आफ्टर दैट द नेक्स्ट विक्ट्री इज रिलेटेड विद द रणथंबोर फोर्ट रणथंबोर फोर्ट अकबर कॉन्कर्ड द रणथंबोर फोर्ट फ्रॉम हाड़ा रूलर सुरजन हाड़ा सुरजन हाड़ा मींस व्हेन अकबर कॉन्कर्ड रणथंबोर एट दैट टाइम सुरजन हाड़ा वाज द रूलर ऑफ बुंदी रीजन एंड रणथंबोर वाज अंडर वाज अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ द हाड़ा रूलर्स सो फ्रॉम सुरजन हाड़ा अकबर कॉन्कर्ड रणथंबोर यानी अकबर ने रणथंबोर को जीता था सुरजन हाड़ा से ओके After that, the next victory is related with Raja Ramchandra Dev. Okay, Raja Ramchandra Dev wishfully delegated his force to Akbar. Okay, the fort of Kalinjar. The fort of Kalinjar was wishfully delegated to Akbar by Raja Ramchandra. In 1570, Akbar organized the Nagore Fort. अकबर ने 1570 में जयपुर के कछवाहा रूलर भारवल के एडवाइस में नागौर फोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइज किया था सो इन 1570 अकबर ऑर्गेनाइज दी नागौर फोर्ट इज दैट क्लियर एंड इन दिस फोर्ट द थ्री मेजर राजपूत रूलर्स डेलीगेटेड देयर फोर्ट्स टू अकबर ओके सो व्हिच वर द थ्री मेजर राजपूत डायनेस्टीज और द थ्री राजपूत रियासत सो द रियासत वर और द स्टेट्स वर द स्टेट ऑफ बीकानेर ओके आफ्टर दैट जोधपुर और मारवाड़ एंड द लास्ट वन इज जैसलमेर ओके बीकानेर जोधपुर एंड जैसलमेर अलॉन्ग विद थ्री स्मॉल स्टेट्स रिलेटेड विद सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ राजस्थान और राजपुताना विच वर डूंगरपुर बांसवाड़ा एंड प्रतापगढ़ डूंगरपुर बांसवाड़ा एंड प्रतापगढ़ सो रूलर्स ऑफ दीज थ्री स्टेट्स आल्सो accepted the sovereignty of akbar but they didn't merge their riyasat their state with the akbar sampar okay means they uh, maintain their separate identity okay so in this way till 1570 most of the states nearby the region of delhi were occupied by akbar after that akbar conquered the region of gujarat okay the region of Gujarat was conquered by Akbar and along with that from Daud Khan Akbar conquered the region of Bengal and to commemorate the victory of Gujarat Akbar constructed Buland Darwaza at Fatehpur Sikri okay now after that the next point The next point is related with the other major victories of Akbar in the last phase of his life, which were the victories of Kabul, Kandhar, Kashmir, Sindh, and Thale. All these regions were conquered by Akbar. Along with that, in 1600 Common Era, Akbar conquered the region of Ahmednagar. Okay, means after facing a stiff compet competition from, or we can say that a stiff struggle from Chand Bibi, Akbar occupied the region of. and okay which was finally merged in mughal empire by sand it we can say that akbar's army conquered the region of ahmednagar and in this way 
Ahmed Nagar accepted the sovereignty of Akbar, the domination of Akbar, but the complete murder of Ahmed Nagar in the Mughal Empire was met by Sanjan. Okay, in 1632 Common. So Akbar's army conquered the region of Ahmed Nagar. In 1600, common era, after facing a stiff struggle from Charlie. Okay, the last victory of Akbar was related with Asir. Akbar conquered the region of Asir in 1601, common era. Asir Gad. Okay, Asir Gad. That was the last victory of Akbar. Akbar also conquered the region of. Hantes and renamed is it as Dhandes. Okay. Two major wars took place in front of Akbar. Means we can say that against the domination of Akbar, against the sovereignty of Akbar, two major wars were there. First one. The first revolt was the revolt of Uzbeks in 1564 under the leadership of Malwa's governor Abdullah Khan. Okay, under the leadership of Malwa's governor Abdullah Khan. Uzbeks revolted against Akbar. This revolt was crushed by Akbar. After that, the second revolt was in 1524 and this revolt was in Gujarat. <coughs> the revolt of Gujarat was finally crushed by Abdul Rahim. And because of crushing this revolt, Abdul Rahim was adorned with the title of Abdul Rahim Khan of Khana. Okay, Abdul Rahim Khana Khana was the title. So Khana Khana was the title provided to Abdul Rahim by Akbar because he crushed the revolt of Gujarat in 1584. Is that clear? So in this way, if we talk about the major victories of Akbar, so Akbar ki jo major victories hain, unme sabse pehle Malwa. Okay. Music lover Baz Bahadur Se Malwa, which is Akbar ko Chunar Fort or Gondwana Forts. After that, Ranthambol Fort, Surjan Hara Se. After that, the next one, <coughs> Kalinjal Fort, Ram, uh, Raja Ramchandra Dev handed over to Akbar in 1570, which is Nagor Fort, which is Marwad, and along with that, the ruler of Jasmine. They also handed over their forts to Akbar and accepted the sovereignty of Akbar. Then Akbar conquered the region of Gujarat and region of Bengal. Bengal from Daud Khan and in this way extended his empire from Gujarat till Bengal. Okay. After that, Akbar also uh, conquered the many Akbar ki jo victories ki baat kare, to Akbar ne, uh, conquered kiya tha, region of Kabul, Kandhar. Kashmir, Sindh, and along with that, Khalid region. Okay. 1600 and common era, Ahmad Nagar Akbar ne jita tha, and in 1601, Asirgarh was conquered by Akbar. That was the last victory of Akbar. Is that clear? Khandis was conquered by Akbar, and it was renamed as Dhandis. In some books, you will find a mention like in which books mein aise hua milega ki Dhandis ko jeet kar uska naam Khandis kiya gaya tha. Okay. So there is no need to be confused. According to our basic book, it is Khandes. So Khandes was conquered by Akbar and renamed as Dhandes. Okay. Now, if we talk about the last phase of Akbar's life, the last years of Akbar's life, then we can say that Akbar's son Salim, okay, revolted against Akbar in 1599. To crush this revolt, Akbar sent Abdul Rahim Khan uh, Abul Fazal in 1602, which was killed by uh, Salim, we can say, or we can say that it was uh, planned. The murder of Abdul uh, Abul Fazal was planned by Salim or later Jahangir. And finally, due to illness, Akbar died in 1605, common era. His mausoleum was constructed, means he was buried in Sikandara and his mausoleum was constructed there. And this mausoleum is clearly influenced by both 
style of architecture okay so both architectural style is clearly visible on the mausoleum of akbar so you have to keep this thing in your mind which mughal architectural structure or we can say that which mughal building resemble buddhist architectural style or buddhist style of architecture then your answer will be the mausoleum of akbar constructed in sikandar okay now after discussing about akbar as the next here we are going to discuss about the next ruler of mughal dynasty the son and successor of akbar which was jahangir okay uh sorry guys uh, at first we will discuss about the religious and rajput policy of akbar okay i'm really very sorry about that so let's forget so at first we will discuss about the rajput policy of akbar and along with that religious policy of akbar so the first point is the religious policy of akbar okay so akbar was a religiously tolerant ruler who adopted the same policy means we can say that he was a muslim but even that he provided same protection uh, same respect and financial help freedom to all the religions or the people of all the religions who were who were there in the court of akbar or in the empire of akbar okay so akbar called the religious followers of christianism okay means we can say that the christian missionaries were called by akbar from goa and uh, he called them for a religious discussion which was made in the ibadat khana ibadat khana which was constructed by akbar in 1575 at fatehpur sikri okay 1575 at fatehpur sikri ibadat khana was constructed by akbar and akbar jo hai usne religious discussion ke liye ibadat khana banwaya tha 1575 mein aur is ibadat khana mein डिस्कशन के लिए उसने अलग अलग रीजन के अलग अलग रूलर्स को बुलाया था रिलीजियस लीडर्स को बुलाया था जैसे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कॉल द क्रिश्चियन मिशनरीज और वी कैन से दैट द पॉलिटिक्यूज मिशनरीज फ्रॉम गोवा ओके एंड द फर्स्ट क्रिश्चियन मिशन विजिटेड फतेहपुर सिक्री अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ फादर मंचरेट ओके आफ्टर दैट Akbar allowed the Christian missionaries to construct their churches in Agra and in the region of Lahore and Delhi. Okay. Along with that, Akbar started a new religion in 1581 Common Era, which is known as Dina Ilahi. This religion is known as Dina Ilahi. The first Hindu ruler who accepted this religion or who became the follower of the in life was raja birbal okay the head priest of this deen ilahi religion was abul fazl it was abul fazl okay in 1583 common era akbar started a new era which is known as ilahi era and akbar in 1583 common era mein एक नए समत की नए एरा की शुरुआत की थी विच इज नोन एज इलाही एरा जिसका नाम है इलाही एरा सो इन दिस वे अकबर वॉज अ रिलीजियसली टॉलेंट रूलर और अकबर की जो रिलीजियस पॉलिसीज है वो क्लियरली इसको प्रूव करती हैं उसने क्रिश्चियन मिशनरीज को सपोर्ट किया उनको अलाउ किया आगरा लाहौर रीजन में अपने चर्चेस कंस्ट्रक्ट करने के लिए इसके अलावा उसने सारे रिलीजन के इसेंस को उनकी समरी को समझने के लिए इबादत खाने के रिलीजियस डिस्कशन ऑर्गेनाइज करवाया अलोंग विद दैट अकबर आल्सो सपोर्टेड जैन रिलीजन एंड ही अडोन जैन मुनि जैन सेंट हर विजय विद द टाइटल ऑफ जगत गुरु ओके सो ही अडोन जैन मुनि हर विजय विद द टाइटल ऑफ जगत गुरु यानी अकबर ने जैन मुनि हर विजय को अडोन किया था जगत गुरु के टाइटल से ओके तो उसने जगत गुरु का टाइटल दिया था जैन मुनि हर विजय को इज दैट क्लियर ओके आफ्टर दैट द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट 
and the last point related with the history of Akbar is really a Rajput policy of Akbar. The Rajput policy of Akbar is quite different in comparison of other Mughal rulers and other Muslim rulers. Okay, Akbar was really attracted with the bravery of Rajputs and along with that aware with the Rajput tradition of keeping words. Any Rajput parampara pran jai par vachan na jai. Okay, so how the policy of Akbar for the Rajputs was different in comparison of other rulers? Here we are going to discuss here. Okay, here we are going to discuss about the Rajput policy of Akbar. Akbar adopted a mixed policy for the Rajputs. Okay, a policy of marriage alliances along with that policy of showing powers. Power, use of power to force the Rajput rulers to accept the domination of Akbar. Actually, Akbar wanted to use the power of Rajput rulers to extend the boundaries of Mughal, to extend the boundaries of Mughal Empire. Is that clear? So the first Rajput ruler who made marriage alliances with Akbar was Bharmal Kachwaha. Yani pehla Rajput Raja, jisne Akbar ke saath mein marriage alliance established kiya tha, that was Bharmal. Okay, Bharmal Kachwaha, the ruler of armies. Okay, who married his daughter Harkabai. Who married his daughter Harka Bai with Akbar? And you know, he married Harka Bai. He married with Akbar. Is that clear? Akbar appointed Bhagwan Das, Bhagwan Das, or Bhagwan Das. Okay, Bhagwan Das and Man Singh on higher post in his court. Okay. After that, other Rajput rulers also established marriage alliances with. Akbar, for example, the ruler of Jaisalmer, the ruler of Pekaner, and the ruler of Jodhpur means Marwar also married their daughters with Akbar or the royal family members, okay, related with the family of Akbar. For example, Jodhabai. Jodhabai was related with Jodhpur, Marwar, who was married with Salim or Chahangir. Is that clear? So, in this way, the Rajput policy of Akbar was quite different. Finally, Akbar died in 1605 common era. Is that clear? Now, which kind of questions you can find here from this chapter? First question. Which were the major victories of Akbar? Okay, you can find a question like which were the massive victories of Akbar, what were the efforts made by Akbar for the establishment of large extended empire along with that, uh, what was the policy of Akbar for the Rajputs or how the Rajput policy of Akbar was different in comparison of other Mughal rulers, okay, and the uh, religious policy of Akbar explain the religious policy of Akbar, write a note on the religious policy of Akbar and don't forget to mention in the religious policy of Akbar that he removed the Jajia text in 1564 okay and this point you can use at both these places because of these Rajputs okay or we can say that too with the hearts of Rajput rulers Akbar removed Jajia text from Hindus okay so Jajia text was removed by Akbar in 1564 and the most important struggle related with the life of Akbar was the struggle with Mewar, especially with Maharana Pratap. Okay, Akbar fought a battle with Maharana Pratap, which is known as the Battle of Haldi Hathi. Okay, the Akbar's army was led by Man Singh and Asaf Khan, and on the other hand, Maharana Pratap was there, and both. These armies confronted each other in the Battle of Haldi Ghati, 1576, 18th June 1576. In this battle, the Mughal army was not able to capture Maharana Pratap and in this way that was a moral victory of Maharana Pratap.
okay after that in the battle of divir maharana pratap defeated the mughal rulers sorry the mughal army okay and in this way all the 36 centers or police stations of mughals were won by maharana pratap okay so uh, guys if you would like to uh, get more information about maharana pratap then there is a separate video on this youtube channel you can go there and watch that video for getting information about maharana pratap okay so guys in this way in this video we discuss about akbar major victories of akbar akbar's religious policy and along with that the policy of akbar for rajputs okay means the rajput policy of akbar so guys if there will be any doubt while watching this video in your mind you can write me in the comment section i will definitely help you to resolve all your doubts about the remaining mughal rulers we will discuss in the next week till then stay at your home be safe thank you very much have a nice day jai hind jai bharat